So about six months ago, I made this video all about how to fill a hole in a wall. Actually, the hole was like around here somewhere. I can't even tell where it was because I've done such an awesome job. And in that video, I made up a few like trolley comments just to kind of preempt things a bit. The trolls have outdone themselves. So much to cover off in today's video. Later on, I'm going to share with you all about the trolley comments. We'll do a quick mailbag and I've got some very exciting news for you as well. So hang about for that later on. Let's crack on. First up, little mystery box here. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, check it out. I recognise that from Keith Brown, Rag and Bone Brown. If you're not already subscribed to Keith, then please do so. He has an awesome YouTube channel. Keith Brown, maker of things. Oil wax finish. Thank you very much, Keith. Next up, I think we've got some more stickers. Let's have a look. Hi Andy, thanks for the sticker swap. Here's mine for you. Midnight Handyman. From Mike. Cheers Mike, thank you very much. All the way from Illinois in the States. Cheers Mike. It's another one for the sticker door. Another sticker I think. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's check this one out. Hi Andy, thanks for the sticker swap. Love the videos and hope everything's good with you. All the best for the future. From William. Thank you, William. Tremendous stuff. Another one for the sticker door. Next up, check this out. This is from Ian, and he actually gave us this at Maker Central, but uh, promised I'd give him a quick shout out on a mailbag video. So thank you very much for this, Ian. He donated another couple of hard drives to the cause and a little Netgear NAS as well. Look at this. Tremendous. I'm not sure what I'm going to use the NAS for yet, but I will definitely make use of the hard drives. So thank you very, very much, Ian. I get through colossal amounts of hard disk space with all the videos and whatnot. So you can never have too many hard drives. Although I've got quite a lot at the minute, so don't panic. Next up, Carl, straw bite workshop. Carl, sorry, it's taken us so long to get this onto a mailbag. I just haven't had time to do a mailbag video. Let's have a dig at this. Ah, so this is Carl's waist side track saw jig. I'm assuming these are like 3D printed or something. Ah, nifty. Oh, and we've got stickers as well. I think I've already got Carl on there, but you can never have too many stickers. I'll shove another one up. So these little track saw jigs that Carl sells, I'll include a link in the description below to Carl's channel where you can buy these. But I'll read you out what it says here. The track saw waist side jig is a pretty simple aid to aligning your track to layout marks when the waist side of the cut is the part you wish to be dimensioned accurately. Place the jig under the rail and align the edge in the jig's window to the layout mark. With the track placed, remove the jigs and make your cut. The jigs are designed for saws with 2.2mm grey and 1.6mm red curves and should give you a part extremely close to your required dimension. That's quite nifty. So basically, if you're making a cut, with a track saw and obviously normally the side that you're going to keep is going to be the side underneath the track. Well sometimes you'll need to make a waist side cut and all you do pop this under the track, line up this with your mark, take that away and then that takes into account the curve of the blade and you can do a perfect waist side cut and this would be the side that you would end up keeping. Carl sells these on his website, link in the description below. Lovely jubbly. Put 
Got a big box here. Let's check this one out. Oh wow. We have got some screws. A lot of screws. These are turbo quick screws. There's no note in the box saying who it's from. If you're sending us stuff, pop a little note in the box so I know who it's from and I'll give you a shout out. Sometimes trying to cross-reference the parcel back to emails from a long time ago can be a little bit tricky. But either way, these look fantastic. Turbo Quick GP screws. I'll give them a bit of a road test and I'll let you know what I think of them. I might even do a little giveaway. We'll see. Watch this space. Check it out. To Andy, I really enjoy your videos. I look forward to the Test Tuesday videos. Yeah, I haven't done a Test Tuesday for ages. It, it's on my list. Oh, and to do one with the wall plugs I sent you. You know what it is? I couldn't remember who sent us those, so uh, you've reminded me. So I will test those at some point. Thank you very much, Matthew from Pure DIY. Awesome stuff that will be going on the sticker door. Schroeder's handyman garage all the way from Jacksonville Illinois nice stickers they will be going on the sticker door thank you Chris what have we here oh wow that's pretty cool hi Andy please find and close the t-shirt hope it fits in respect to your visit let me have a few dates and I will let you oh yes I was gonna get in touch with Ron and try and sort out a visit to Ron, the drum maker. Ron, it's on my to-do list. I'm so sorry I haven't had a chance to get back to you yet. Things have been mental. But Ron runs a drum making business. I'll include a link down in the description below. Go and check out what he does. He does some amazing stuff and he's just down the road from me. So I'm gonna try and do a visit at some point. Fantastic. Thank you for the t-shirt, Ron. If you've sent me stuff and I haven't given you a shout out, Please drop me an email. If you go to gothwithhandyman.com and go to the contact form on there, you can get in touch with me. There's a reasonable chance I've either not received it or I've forgotten about it because when I leave it ages between mailbag videos, stuff just drops out my brain because I have the memory of a goldfish. I also did have a small problem with the PO box a couple of months ago. I'm completely caught up with everything I've received. So especially stickers, if you sent me stickers and you haven't seen it on the sticker door, then the likelihood is it's got lost in the post somewhere. So drop me a note and maybe just send them again because the PO box should all be fixed now, apparently, post office. The big bit of news, or I think it's quite a big bit of news, you might think it's boring, but the Measuring Up podcast is back for season four on Monday the 30th of September. So mark it in your diaries or get your podcast player ready and subscribed. Me and Peter are long overdue a chat with each other and I can't wait. It gives us someone to talk to if nothing else. On a related note, the podcast isn't gonna be going out on YouTube anymore. YouTube's not really the best of platforms for podcasts, especially since nothing happens in it other than us just talking. It would be a bit different if we were filming it or something, but we're not. And for the tiny, tiny proportion of people who listen to it via YouTube, compared to the amount of listeners we've got via proper podcast apps, it's just not really worth the effort of putting it out on YouTube anymore. So we'll probably talk about that in a bit more detail in the first episode of season four but just be prepared for that if you do listen to podcasts via youtube get yourself a proper podcast player on your phone you can also just listen it via the website as well measuringuppodcast.com on your podcast player just search for measuring up podcast and we should come up can't wait let's finish off with a bit of a story on the whole trolls front as you may or may not be aware six months or so ago I made this video all about filling a hole in this wall and I used two part filler instead of traditional plaster to show you how you can fill a hole using two part filler if you're in a rush and you don't have time to wait for plaster to dry because you can't paint 
Uh, anyway, I'm not getting into that. So if I showed the repaired wall at the end of the video where you genuinely can't see the repair, I mean, I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm feeling the wall. I can't tell where the repair was. But I could have just filmed the wall before I put a hole in it and then used that footage at the end to say, look at what an awesome job I've done. So I thought, well, just for a laugh, I'll show a completely different wall at the end. And I chose a wall that was so blatantly different that I thought everyone will understand this is a joke. It's not a thing that has to be explained because we've got like, we've got a socket here. We've got like a radiator. We've got like the corner bit boxing here. Instead of this like obvious corner here, I picked this perfectly flat bit of wall here with a mirror above it, no radiator, no socket, no corner. It's obviously a different wall. I was obviously joking. Holy hell. Oh, you've showed the rock. And then just to preempt the trolley comments, I did actually show this wall at the end of the video, but you had to watch till the very end. But the last 20 seconds of the video show the repaired wall. It's just the trolls have been like, oh, that's a different wall. And this decided to mouth off before actually watching the whole video when it was, come on. I mean, I don't have to explain that that was a joke, surely. But geez, the comments and the com they're still coming in every day. That's a different wall at the end. Oh, you must have done a terrible job because you've shown a different wall. Some of the comments were really quite aggressive as well. <laughs> Questioning my skills. How very dare they. Thank you to everyone who's defended me in the comments, by the way, because I've read through all of them. I can't reply to all of them because there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of comments, but thank you to everyone for responding on my behalf to some of the trolls. I genuinely didn't think the trolls could say things worse than the made up comments that I included in the video, but no, they really outdid themselves this time. Lordy, what are they gonna say when I tell them I'm going full time on YouTube, shutting down my joinery business, selling the house and selling my truck? And by the way, if you want to know more about that before it comes out on the podcast, if you subscribe to my newsletter, link in the description, I'll send something out within the next couple of days. Take care folks, keep the awesome comments coming in. Keep the trolley comments coming in as well because it keeps me entertained. Be happy, be nice. Look after one another. Bye-bye.